What is up, you guys? It's your boy Lloyd here, and we have a question. So, this guy writes, he writes, Lloyd, big fan of you and your channel. My question to you is, I have a really awesome lifestyle. And I know you say on your channel that girls are really into a guy with a great lifestyle. So I'm wondering, how can I display, how can I show the girl that I have a great lifestyle without coming off as try hard or that I'm arrogant? Thank you so much. Look forward to hearing your answer. Okay, so this guy has a really great lifestyle and he wants to be able to uh, show people. Now I paraphrase his question was a lot longer than that, but basically that's what he's curious about. And yeah, dude, having a great lifestyle is super important. In fact, you know, the, the crass term is that uh, a lot of people say that men are into a woman for a body and women are into men for a lifestyle. Now, obviously that's uh, a very crass way of putting it, but it's not rooted in fiction. Okay, so how do you display the fact that you have a great lifestyle uh, to this person. Now, the two ways you can do it, you can uh, either do things that are gonna make her want to find out for herself. So she finds out that you have a great lifestyle and kind of who you are um, on her own. And then the other way is you kind of show her or tell her. So obviously, one is a lot better than the other. So I'm gonna tell uh, kind of how to, how to do both of those things in this video. Uh, but before I do, you guys, if you're wondering about the product I'm gonna be releasing in a couple months, if you wanna get notified about it, there is a link in the description box below. So click on that link, put in your email, and you'll get notified. Cool. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited about this uh, product. Hopefully we'll be able to get it out in a, in a, in a couple months with the uh, pandemic that's happening. So yeah, that'll be great. Okay, so let's talk about how to get this girl kind of uh, curious about what you're doing. So obviously with the two ways, it's a lot better if she finds out by herself rather than you telling or showing her. So I'm gonna talk, a lot of what I'm geared towards is more towards that. But if you are going to tell her outright, there is a, there's a, or, or show her, there are ways to do it. So um, I'm a guy who has a lot of kind of stuff going on. Like my lifestyle is pretty cool too. So the way that I tackle this issue w with women or it's not really an issue, it's more of a, it's definitely an advantage, but using it in the right way is, is the way you wanna do it. Um, you don't have to do a whole lot. You really don't. Women, if they like a guy, they will find out information about him. They will go on social media, they will stalk you. In fact, I don't know who stalks more, men or women, but I know women are sneakier about it. So if you are, if you have a great social media profile, that helps. If you have a great social circle, that helps too. In fact, a lot of times, like even before I said I was doing this, I only told a few people about what my uh, what my business and everything was going to be uh, before I started it. But now people, most people have found out. They found out because people talk. You don't need to do a whole lot, especially in these groups. So what you should do is if you're talking to a girl or if you're saying hi to her, yeah. So you, if it's on your social media profile, you probably don't even have to say anything. A lot of times, guys think they. Um, think they have to compensate by tell, by letting them know like how awesome their job is or maybe they'll say oh I'm like uh, I'm like a software engineer or something like that and then they'll have to tell how much like all the business meetings that they go to the companies they work for they have to they, they feel like they have to compensate for the fact that they just told this person that they're a software engineer women don't usually give a shit okay they, they really don't care it's more about the life that you can bring them that they're curious about and if you're constantly bragging and you're trying to justify to them how dope your life is what you're really communicating to her is I feel insecure about my lifestyle so I'm trying to prove it to you that comes off as bragging and people do not like people who brag so what I would do instead is if I'm talking to a girl, rather than me tell them, hey, my name's Lloyd, I have a big YouTube channel, I have 60,000 subscribers, or actually, it's more than that now, I don't know how much it is now, but I, I travel around the world, uh, I teach guys how to be the best versions of themselves, I, I, don't, I don't even mention my job unless they bring it up. I really don't. What I'll do is they'll be like, hey, so what are you doing in the area? I'll say something like, yeah, I was just here organizing a conference. What about you, what are you up to? Just by me saying that, Organizing a conference, that shows that I have something that's my own, I'm creating things. That shows that I have 
something uh, going on where people are attending to see me. It's a lot of intriguing things there. And just that line alone, a lot of times people will follow up with questions and they want to ask all about it. And at first I was tempted to describe the whole thing to them, but a lot of times I still kind of keep it vague. I let them dig deeper or maybe they can ask one of my friends about it. You know, And I'm not rude, I'm not, oh no, nah, I'll talk about that later. Uh, I'll just maybe give them a few more things or something. Hey, yeah, I've organized a conference that you know, I'm help, helping guys out uh, with this, but tell me about you, what do you do? So I'm, at first I'm very interested in them. I make them like me as a person first, and then I give, you know, you can throw little kind of details in there, you know? And you shouldn't have to try for these details. You shouldn't have to be like, oh, now it's time to insert demonstration of higher value. That's how you know a, a creepy pickup guy thinks about it. Um, but you should just describe kind of what you're doing. And if it come, if it sounds like you're bragging, you know, uh, a, a lot of times you are. So just mentioning one little thing about it and then leaving a lot of up to the imagination is a lot of times better. If she finds out about like, oh, I'm hosting, a, this guy's hosting a conference and then she goes to my social media, kind of sees the friends that I have, the, the places that I've traveled to, now she's even more intrigued. Now she wants to know more. And on social media too, a lot of times it's tempting for guys to really go out there and brag a lot. So if they bought a new car or if they have a job or they travel to a business location, it's tempting for them to tell about like what kind of car it is. And you know, it, you wanna leave things up to the imagination too. For instance, if you went to like an exciting vacation or something like that, you know, rather than you saying, uh, we had a, had a great time in Mykonos with my awesome friends, this trip was, really cool, we ate at this fancy restaurant, we talked to these people, we went to this awesome club. Just put like a picture and then you know a brief description. Like if it was a, um, if it was like a, a nice club that you went to in Vegas or something like that, you could write like, not bad for a Tuesday. And that's it, you know? You don't really need to say a whole lot because people are intrigued. They're like, what is he doing? He's in Vegas on a Tuesday? What's he go? Is he on a business trip? What does he do? Like, it leaves a lot up to the imagination. Okay, so I, I think a lot of these types of things where it gets people intrigued and interested is the way to go about doing it. So that's how you talk about it and that's how you kind of display it with your social media profiles and everything. And it just takes a little bit, you guys, before her, uh, she starts asking her friends or asking your social circle. Like, typically, if, if someone was talking to me in my hometown and I maybe said one little thing about like, yeah, I did a, uh, I had a, I had a mastermind the other day and she doesn't even know what a mastermind is, right? Maybe she'll ask one of my friends what I do. Then he'll tell. If she hears it from a friend, if she hears it from somebody else, dude, it's so much more powerful than coming out of your mouth. And like I said, women, it usually puts women off if you're bragging about it to them in person. So let her figure it out for yourself. I mean, if you think about guys who do live an awesome, awesome lifestyle, like think about, um, I don't know, a celebrity like Brad Pitt. Do you really think Brad Pitt is gonna waste his time name dropping and bragging to you? Oh, I was hanging out with Angelina Jolie the other day and Martin Scorsese me wants me to be the lead in his new movie. He's not gonna say any of that shit. He, he's Brad Pitt, he doesn't need to brag any, about any of that stuff. Even if it's a person who doesn't know who he is, do you think he's really gonna take the time to, to do all that stuff? So if there's an era, if there's an aura of like relax, uh, confident, if you're kind of confidently relaxed, in these given social situations. You have this kind of allure about you that women are just drawn to. So having that magnetism about yourself without actually having to say what it is you're confident about is what drives women nuts. And in order to be able to cultivate that, stop overtly talking about the stuff that you're, you're, uh, you're doing. But also too, um, you know, don't be scared to mention a few things about your life as well. Now, for the guys that are watching this that are like, okay, I don't have a really awesome lifestyle. I don't know what she would, um, I don't know what she would be interested in. You're probably wrong. There's probably some stuff that you do that you've done or you're doing that people would be interested in. So I would recommend that you write stuff down. Write all the cool things that you do. And if you don't have those things, start doing them. Create the lifestyle that you want so you can attract the women that you want to. All right, you guys. Well. Thanks for watching. If you made it to end, consider subscribing. Come out with videos like this every single week. And guys, if you want to get mentored by me personally, there is a form in the description box below. Click on the link, fill out the form, and we'll get back to you. Thanks a lot, you guys.